Opponents of the Access Oklahoma project say they're keeping a close eye on what the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority does next. This comes two weeks after Norman City leaders rejected the OTA's partnership resolution. Fox 25's David Chazanoff joins us live in Norman tonight. David, what are both sides of this saying? A lot of accusations are being thrown around Adam and Wendy, and the OTA disputes everything that was said here outside City Hall. We're quite displeased with the uh, the performance of the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority living up to their agreements with other cities and municipalities. Some Oklahomans claim the OTA is not following the Oklahoma Turnpike Authority Enabling Act, which they say requires the agency to partner with cities before building new highways. Every single step of this process has been through informal channels, backdoor, crony capitalism. None of it has taken place out in the light of day. But the OTA tells Fox 25 they've been talking to Norman City leaders about this project since 2022. The agency adds to say cities were not informed of OTA plans before design work started is blatant misinformation. Uh, it's just wrong for a state agency to operate this way in a democratic country. Turnpike opponents say the proposed projects don't make sense financially. The aggregate deficit for all three new alignments is likely to be in excess of $5 billion. This means Oklahoma drivers are going to have to pay this in the form of toll increases. The OTA says it's required to determine the economic feasibility of their projects. Also mentioning that there is more demand for their projects than bonds available for sale. Inform Oklahoma drivers how much they're going to have to pay to subsidize these expensive failures. Anti-turnpike advocates also believe the OTA will make communities responsible for paying for any damages to existing roads caused by building new highways. The OTA often requires um, these cities and counties to amend the, their original agreements, many times often to the detriment of the local city or county and always to the benefit of the OTA. The OTA disputes that saying they're required to make whole any local infrastructure impacted by turnpike construction and they maintain that commitment.